Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Yesterday I got an email from the good people at the OpenAI project, which is openai.com, letting me know that I've been invited into the inner sanctum of the DALI 2 world. Um, in other words, my time on the waitlist had come to an end. <laughs> if you're watching this video, I'm gonna presume you've heard about DALI and DALI 2 specifically. If you haven't, it's basically an artificial intelligence or AI algorithm that takes descriptive strings of text and it converts them into images. So you can get whatever the wildest thing you can think of, you know, uh, a koala, I think in their intro video, they have like, you know, a koala dunking a basketball. The weirdest thing you can think of that ha couldn't exist in real life, you can put that in as a string and it'll generate this really, really cool artwork. So you're, we're seeing a lot at the moment of hashtag AI art, hashtag AI artwork. At least I've been seeing, I've been hearing and seeing a lot about DALI 2 on Twitter, Reddit and Facebook for the past number of months. So I saw that they had a wait list. I signed up to the wait list a few weeks ago and I just got access this weekend. So I must say I'm very excited about that. I am going to guess that the reason they're doing it like this with the wait list is that it must involve a lot of compute resources on the back end to generate this uh, AI artwork. So I'd imagine that's why they're onboarding users in a kind of a triaged phase. And it actually makes, that makes sense as well because they're actually selling credit. So let me just show you guys what it looks like um, on the insight here of the uh, DALI2 generator. So it's labs.openai.com. <clears throat> and when you sign up, you're going to get uh, 50 tokens, which uh, really isn't bad. It's one token each time you generate something. In other words, each time you put in a string of text. And then if you want to buy more tokens, it's actually really not that expensive. It's 115 credits for uh, $15 and of course, I'm not sure if there's a quantity discount, doesn't look like it if you're buying 230 credits for $30. In other words, you can use the API or do it by your, you, you, humanly, but either way, it's, it's not super expensive, but you, they give you 50 to start, which is pretty nice. Um, there's also a, a Discord server um, as well. You can see it's got like 24,000 people at the moment. And people in there are like sharing their DALI artwork, which is pretty cool. So let me just uh, do one. So I have, ha it's just wacky ideas, stuff that can't exist in the real world uh, you can put in here. So I'm gonna go, I have a bit of a sloth uh, obsession as my favorite animal at the moment. But before I was interested in sloths, I used to love koalas and penguins. So, you know, I can type in something like a sloth, whoops, a sloth, a koala and a penguin uh drinking together at a bar like you know just kind of a wild wild idea now there's also something called in image editing so you can actually upload an image and have it like use ai to generate a different background you can't at the moment if you try to upload a face just be warned it will say faces are not currently supported so it doesn't work with faces in the AI enhanced image editing. So it needs to be something like a background. So anyway, I'm just gonna go and have a bit of fun with my prompt here, a sloth, a sloth, a koala, and a penguin drinking together at a bar. So it takes like 10 seconds, as you can see, there's a progress bar and the AI is doing its thing. And after it generates, you're gonna, it's gonna give you a few results so we can see if it's good or bad. So here we go. So this is actually kind of an interesting one. So in this, it's, it's gone for a uh, cartoon style thing. And like, these are just so creative. So here's here's my koala and my penguin. I'm missing the sloth in that one. This one's great. The, the koala and the penguin are feeding the sloth alcohol. Um, so if you find one that you like, you can save it, save it to your collection by clicking on save. So I'm gonna definitely save this one. And you can also share it. Now something cool, um, is that uh, once you publish it to OpenAI, it's gonna be hosted there, which is nice. So once I click the publish button, um, it's gonna be up there and now you get a link and I'm just gonna open the link in a new tab here on my browser. And this is a publicly accessible link. And what's, what's cool is that it shows people the prompt as well. So you can see, I'm gonna just make myself small so you can see all the details of this uh, DALI 2 rendering in all its glory. You can see the sloth as well, and it has this DALI 2 watermark at the bottom. That's just so people can know it's created with that. And um, it doesn't give your full username. So I guess if you wanna be like anonymous, um, then that, this is a way to do it. It says uh, Daniel and DALI 
human AI collaboration, and this is the penguin co penguin koala and a sloth at a bar. Um, so if I just go back to my um, account here, so then if you really like something, for ex for example, if I like this particular one a lot, let's just go back and to see the other ones that it came up with. Now you can type in there's certain keywords in the prompt, so you can put at the start of this a 3D rendering of and then your string and then you'll only get 3d renderings versus these cartoons this one's pretty funny as well i'm going to definitely save this to my collection and i'm going to share it publicly too um you can also start up a uh, collection so if i click on, click on the save button there you can go to see everything you've uh, saved so far so this is what i've been up to very slots centric those would be my first ones like i did this creative 3d rendering of a sloth dressed in a suit uh praying at the western wall in jerusalem it's kind of missing a face, but besides that, the Western wall is pretty spot on. It's even got the little uh, notes that people pop into the walls, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, he's definitely, I'm going to have to zoom in, so, so you, or I would have to zoom in so you could see the details better. He's definitely got a suit going on. Um, he just seems to be missing like a clear facial structure, but I thought that was pretty good. This one really impressed me. This is a sloth using a cell phone while lying in bed like this is pre this is pretty cool he's definitely got it's kind of missing he's like one eyes open one eyes closed but like the kind of sloth face and 3d is really there the cell phone's a bit weird looking it's kind of covered so you could play around with these in an image editor but as a starting point for a wild image of a sloth you know and it, not something you can get in reality sloth using a cell phone in bed i think it's pretty good so that's what i've been up to so far so if you get one that you like you can uh, generate variations you can also do this after the fact so you can go back into your image creation uh into your collection and then afterwards so i'm just going to generate more and i think this is going to use another credit so just uh just as an fyi but again i think the price of credits are pretty reasonable so this one someone else is clearly interested in animals a capybara uh wearing a royal so here here are variations on my artwork so this was the first one the original and then we here is a variation i don't think that one's so good because the koala doesn't have ears koala's missing ears and this one so I'm, I'm i don't like those variations so much the original is the best one in my opinion out of that batch and yeah, that's pretty much what it is. You're, you're going to see people sharing these all over the place on Twitter. There are like Twitter accounts just tweeting out like the best Dali artworks. Have to say this is pretty cool. People are using it for YouTube thumbnails as well. That's another use to can make of it or just generally anything that you could create um, that, you know, it wouldn't be possible to do in the real world. I've seen some really interesting examples. So that's what Dali 2 is that's what dali2 does if you if you if you are interested you want to sign up for yourself go on to openai.com or google dali2 openai and join the waitlist because you might be waiting there for a few weeks uh before getting access once you have access you're in the system you can buy more credits so that you can keep creating and keep making uh, random things hope that video is useful uh, for anyone interested in dali2 if you'd like to subscribe to this youtube channel please consider doing so thanks for watching